The following demonstration shows the operation of a vacuum plumbing system from beginning to end. To start the process, an interface valve must be opened to create the interface between vacuum and atmospheric pressures that is used to move the waste. For toilets, the process begins when a toilet is flushed, either manually or via infrared sensor. When the vacuum flush valve is activated, the interface valve is opened and atmospheric pressure is drawn through the bowl and trap, carrying any waste from the toilet bowl into the piping network. A water valve is simultaneously activated to deliver the water required to both rinse and refill the toilet bowl. A built-in timing mechanism closes the interface valve at the end of the rinse cycle, while the water valve remains open, allowing the toilet to be refilled and the flush cycle to be completed. For fixtures such as sinks and showers, waste water from the fixtures flows via gravity into a buffer. When the buffer reaches a preset fill level, the interface valve is automatically opened, allowing atmospheric pressure to be drawn through the buffer carrying any collected waste into the piping network. The valve timing mechanism automatically closes the interface valve when the buffer has been emptied and the cycle is completed. The waste travels through the piping to the vacuum center where it is temporarily held before being efficiently discharged to the sanitary sewer main or waste treatment facility 